Good morning from Panhandle Outdoors, America's only daily outdoor TV show. Your source for fishing, hunting, and information for folks who enjoy the great outdoors. Now sit back, relax. It's Panhandle Outdoors. Good morning, folks. Welcome to Panhandle Outdoors in Winston Chester. Glad you're with us this morning. As you see, we're coming from Studio B, which means one thing. We have some special guests with us. First, let's take a look at our weather, brought to us by, by Gulf Coast Air Conditioning. Drew Pollard and a hardworking crew up here in Southport. Uh, the weather has been strong, been really strong now. We're finally getting that rain, and we're thankful for the rain we're getting. And, and this weekend, folks, it's going to be cold. So this is probably our last cold snap, but we'll talk more about that on tomorrow, tomorrow's fishing report and all. Let's move on now with the high today of 74 low 60. Water temperature. The drum roll, 68 degrees, folks. It's hit 68. We're going to really delve into this tomorrow and show you the chart of what has happened this week. The river readings, take a look at the Apalachicola of Blunstown. It's reading at 8.1 this morning, pretty level. The Choctahatchee at Carville is, believe it or not, yesterday said it's going to be a good weekend. Changed my mind, it's going up. Right now it's, it's uh, at 5.6. Uh, tomorrow I will have some great pictures to share with you from fish biting on the Choctahatchee. It was on fire this week, so we're going to talk about it again tomorrow. Tide chart brought to us by Kent Forest Lawn. We're looking at a low tide this morning at 2.22 and a high tide at 2.18 this afternoon. Wind coming in out of north-northwest at about 8. Okay, we're going to take a break and come back with our special guest. Welcome back and welcome to our Students of the Month from Moser High School Outdoor Education. I'm going to let you tell folks who you are, Ryan and Ellie. Tell us folks, we'll start with you. Um, I'm Ellie Heilman, and I'm a senior at Mosley High School. Okay, Ryan. Uh, I'm Ryan Stevenson. I'm a, also a senior at Mosley High School. I ask Coach Stanford each month to you know, select two, a boy and a girl, select two outstanding students, and this is what it sent us. So, we're, so obviously, y'all are pretty good students. <laughs> uh, tell us a little bit about yourself, Ellie. Um, I was born in Kentucky, and my dad was in the military, so I moved around a lot. Oh, you did move around with your dad in the military, and you were in Tennessee for a while. Yes, sir. And you moved here from Tennessee. I moved right. from Las Vegas to here. Las Vegas to here. Was it a little bit of difference? Yes, sir. <laughs> and you like to play soccer. Yes, sir. You must be pretty good at it. Yes, sir. Well, you got a scholarship to? To Andrew College. Andrew College. That's pretty strong. Over there in Georgia. <laughs> Okay, and uh, Ryan, tell us about yourself. Um, well, I'm Ryan Stevenson. Um, I, uh, I've been at Mosley uh, for all four years, and i am um, four-year letterman, born and raised here in Panama City. Uh, probably plan on staying here because everything that I have is here, everything that I want is here, and yeah, <laughs> that's that. I, I got tickled up. Talked to him before the show. Is this not typical of Florida Panhandle? We have folks that move in, they have folks that have been here a long time, and they have one thing in common. They just all love this area. Mm -hmm. it, it, Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. And, uh, and tell us your grandparents and, uh, on the Buchanan mm -hmm. side. Yep, right? my great grandparents is uh, James Allen Buchanan um, and Juanita Buchanan. Um, they've been two great mentors in my life, mm -hmm. have brought me up and raised me right and taught me right from wrong. and everything like that. And if you can a bridge over there. Oh, the yeah, way. absolutely. Yeah. Maybe we'll get your prom picture taken out of you. Oh, yeah. Hey, I was thinking about it. Yeah. Down there in the reeds. <laughs> and you love to fish. You love oh, to yeah, do. absolutely. Hey, Ellie Watt, now you got some, some good pictures sent last night. We'll talk about that later. But I know both you play soccer and you play football, mm -hmm. and that takes up a lot of your time. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Did you play travel soccer, too? Um, I played rec soccer. Rec soccer. Yes, sir. And you still got a scholarship. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's good. What position do you play? Goalkeeper. Goalkeeper. Oh, that's strong. <laughs> yes, sir. You got to react pretty quick. Yes, sir. Uh, well, what's going on uh, with your outdoor class now? Hmm. You want to go ahead? Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, right now we're playing ultimate frisbee. That, isn't that fun? Yes, sir. That's cool. Real fun. And that's the thing we're talking about. You do outdoor stuff and outdoor stuff. These recreational games, they just blend in together mm -hmm. with out, because you're outdoors. Oh, yeah. You're moving around. You're doing teamwork, and, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, you're enjoying it. Uh, what about uh, on, on your family side? Are your family scattered out across the country, or are you in? Um, actually, they're all in Kentucky right now. All in Kentucky? Yes, sir. What part of Kentucky? Uh, Northern Kentucky. Northern Kentucky. Were they okay during the, the storms and all? Yes, sir. No? Okay. They were. Good deal. Do you get to see them very often? or? Um, I would say like every year at least. Good deal. Good deal. What? Uh, 
when, when you go to college, what do you think you want to major in? Um, I want to major in something medical. I picked um, health sciences, so I kind of explore everything. Health sciences. So you could be, you might even be a doctor? Yes, sir. Dr. Ellie. <laughs> good. Ron, what, what do you think you want to do? Uh, I'm planning on going to college and um, getting my degree in general contracting, building houses. And if building houses doesn't work, you know, general contracting, there's so many branches off of it. So, you, you know. We, we need some buildings. Oh, yeah, I absolutely. Mean, this place is taking off. Absolutely. Goodness gracious. Have you always enjoyed building, making oh, stuff? Oh, absolutely. That's how my mind works. So <laughs> complex. And I can see things and put it in places in my mind and manipulate things. And so. Oh, we always get a tickle. You played offensive line. Yes, sir. Left and, tackle. And left tackle. And we had a good, we mostly had a very mm -hmm. good uh, offensive line. Absolutely. Yes, sir. And we sure I did. I got a kick out of watching. I knew most of y'all in your families and all. Mm -hmm. and I got a kick out of watching y'all. Did you, but I was a joke when I used to coach football. The joke was, you know, make sure you line up next to somebody who knows what they're doing so they know you want to do it. We always kid our offensive linemen. So did you have to help your offensive linemen out? Uh, I mean, yeah, <laughs> a, a, a little bit. But, I mean, really all around, that's what made us so good. We were all on the same page. And, uh -huh. you know, we knew what our jobs were. And we knew that, you know, if one guy didn't do the right job, the whole thing would, you know, uh -huh. just not be good. So. <laughs> Just, and you had an injury. Uh, yes, sir. I, I saw that. Tore my ACL. I, I game, yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, but you're um, doing good now. Uh, yes, sir. Had my surgery and um, eight weeks out and doing just fine. Okay. Alec, did you have you been injury free or did you have a little injury? Um, this year I didn't really have an injury, but before my junior year, I had a couple of surgeries. A couple of surgeries. Playing goalie. I mean, you 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 got to be ready. Yes, and sir. sometimes you have collisions, or somebody every now and then they sort of run into you. Yeah, I I've got seen... I got two concussions my whole. No season. kidding. Yes. They just ran into you. <laughs> yeah. They didn't. You didn't tell them to stop. <laughs> <laughs> I was more focused on the ball. <laughs> yeah. Had well, a few of those. <laughs> oh. And you know, again, you're talking about teamwork, and uh, soccer is a great uh, game for teamwork. I mean, you know, going back and forth, and you sort of have to know what you're thinking. So you always been a goalie? Yes, sir. I have. Have you saved more than you gave up? I would like to think so. Well, I, I know you did. Yeah. <laughs> I know you did. Okay, we got a we got y'all sent some really good pictures and all. We're gonna uh, get ready to take a break and share some of the pictures our students of the month brought. So we'll be right back. Welcome back, and here we're sitting with our students of the month, Ellen Ryan, senior from Moser High School Outdoor Education Program, and and share some outdoor activities they do and we're going to talk about some future things. We all, I always ask y'all to send some pictures so I'm going to start with you Ron because mm -hmm. uh, I got you up here first and talk about this first picture here. Uh, well that was an eight point that uh, I'd killed. Let's see, that was a couple years ago I was hunting and it was actually, it was after school one day and it was, <clears throat> it was sort of drizzling and a little bit nasty and I said you know, and uh, well, it was in the rut, first off. That's, that's the main reason I went. I said, you know what, I, I think I'm going to just go sit in a box a while. I thought I was probably going to fall asleep because of the rain, you know. Mm -hmm. But got up in the box. I was sitting there, and we, it's a whole bunch of sage, sage grass. And um, all I see is horns coming up about 300 yards away, and there's two of them. And so I'm like, all right. Now, you know, I get tightened up. You know, I'm ready to go. And. He starts coming my way, and um, he disappears for about three minutes, but I mean, I knew he was coming to the corn. Uh, so he comes out eventually after about three, four more minutes, and so I get my gun up, and I'm like, I'm, I'm saying, do I want to shoot this? Because I was debating, do I want to go get this thing clean and have to do all this in the rain? And I was like, well, that's all right, you know, whatever. So I shot it, and it dropped <laughs> right there wow. where it stood. and. Um, uh, I mean that that day. I mean it was. Oh, you went after it was school. A good day. Oh yeah, after school, yeah. absolutely. That's great. Oh yeah, that's great. And uh, this one. Oh, this that one. one. Hey, that's a good one. Right? <laughs> <laughs> that one. It's uh, already a good story. Tell. I think you got some Buchanan in them. Oh yeah, absolutely. Well, that that one it has more of a story to it because that's when I was dog hunting. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm a big dog hunter. Okay. Big dog hunter. So um, that day, let's see, we was running down by the intercoastal on our lease down there and. We jumped that buck, and uh, we used to call him Tacker. Because so all he'd do is just tack around in a block. Okay. That's all he'd do, just back and forth. Him. Oh, yeah. yeah, he was back and forth, and he'd mess up the dogs. He'd run on his tracks, do all this and that. Mm -hmm. 
So my, my buddy was sitting um, at this one spot we call the refrigerator. Why? I don't know. Somebody old old timer stuff. Dumped, I'll tell you why. Somebody <laughs> dumped the old refrigerator. Pro there, probably uh, so. Probably so. Yeah, but it's so old that there ain't no more refrigerator. That's right. <laughs> anyway, so he was sitting there and, you know, he was a tacker or whatever, and I was sitting about 150 yards behind him, and he was coming right to him. And he started tacking in there, and we have these little trackers that track the dogs, mm -hmm. and he's seen the dogs turn back. So I hear him crank up his truck, take off back around the corner, around me, and go around the whole other side of the block. So I'm just like, all right then. So I just creep up there, and um, I'm probably going about 15 miles an hour. All I see is him jump out in the ditch about 150 yards. My truck's still rolling. I grab my gun out. Oh, and drop them right no there in the way. ditch. Oh yeah, that sounds like a fish story. Hey, I mean, hey, that, hey! I mean, my truck, right. my truck is still rolling by the time I shot. <laughs> this one we need one of those cameras on you and his. Oh yeah, yeah, that was, yeah well, if I'd have had one of them GoPros, that, oh man. Yeah, that's a good been, story. Oh yeah, that was a good one. Okay, let's go to a fishing story. What about oh yeah. This one? Okay, so that was two years ago. Me and my cousin Sam Rowe, mm -hmm. uh, we went out fishing on a chop to hatchy, and um, fish were biting real good, and. Uh, we went in a little slough that, uh, a warmouth slough, mm -hmm. there in the Choctahatchee River, and um, we sat in this one spot, we tied off to a tree, and we caught 28 warmouths off of one tree. Whoa. Yeah. That's pretty strong. And that's within, that's within 30 to 40 minutes. I mean, we was just yeah. putting them in, bam, pulling them up. Ed, do you know why they call it war mouth? I know you don't. Because they really, uh, they would open their mouth like they were going to scream and all like that war. So they had a big mouth. That's not war mouth. That really goes way back. A legendary story. All right. Oh, yeah. What about this one? That one, uh, that was old doe. Just doe patrolling up at my granddad's farm in uh, Chipley. Um, I mean, we was just hunting all day. and um, just That's camp meat. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And this one? Uh, that we, me and my cousin, again, we went out to Shell Island on the Gulf side. This mm -hmm. was three, four years ago. As you can probably tell I look a little bit different, and he's a little <laughs> bit taller. Uh, we was throwing, um, oh, what would, we was throwing uh, sand fleas mm -hmm. on circle hooks out there trying to catch redfish because um, we'd seen them when we went on the other side because we were going to park on the Gulf side because it was a real mm -hmm. pretty day. And we seen a whole bunch of them, so we, Anchored up there, went on the beach and started throwing, uh, throwing out sand fleas, and we'd catch sand fleas and then throw them out, and ended up catching that little redfish. And took them home and had them for dinner. Oh, I like oh, that. Oh yeah, I like that. Well, and one more. That that's just a this pretty a... picture right there. <laughs> <laughs> that's what that is. That's what it's all about, right? Oh there. yeah, Charlton Hatchy. That is my, that is where my heart is, and that is where I call home, uh -huh. right there. That's an awesome you. outlook. That, oh, that, yeah. That is great. Beautiful. That is great. Uh, and the Choctaw River has been, mm -hmm. you know, through your family, I know, a long mm -hmm. time. That's oh, cool. yeah. Very okay. long time. Okay. Ella, you sent more pictures. <laughs> you got a lot of pictures. These are great pictures. Mm -hmm. right? I mean, that, that sort of sums up at all of it. Oh, the yeah. Fishing and Absolutely. Uh, Ella, we're going to take a break. Come back. You got all kinds of pictures. Uh, and you got deer. You got some deer in your picture, too. So I like that. Let's take our final break. We'll be right back with our special guest. Okay, welcome back, folks. So we got a special guest here this morning. We're glad to have them. Let's take a look at our fishing game times today, brought to us by Blue Water Outriggers in Port St. Joe. Our time this morning, 4.48 to 6.48. This afternoon, 5.13 to 7.13. All right, Eddie, your turn. So <laughs> you got about 14 pictures, so here we go. What is this one? <laughs> um, that was at a air show that my dad was at. Um, he was uh, a Navy diver for 22 years. Oh, cool. And so that's uh, my sister's on the right and I'm on the left. Y'all um, y'all working strong, huh? Yes, sir. <laughs> All right, what about this? Um, I'm a supervisor at Shipwreck and this summer will be my fourth year. No kidding. And that's one of the girls I trained. That, you know, so many young people work at Shipwreck. <laughs> really, that's cool. Um, this one, we had a beach day. My family came down um, from Kentucky, so we took pictures on the rocks. Took them to the jetties? Or? Yes, sir. I bet they liked that, didn't they? They did. <laughs> ah. um, this is uh, one of my friends. Uh, 
his horses that I got to um, pet and see um, and Defuniac. And Defuniac. I was going to say, I was thinking it might have been some Kentucky horses. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, this is a picture from my senior year of playing soccer at Memphis. You look very intense. <laughs> You have to pay attention the whole time, don't you? You yes, can't sir. look at the birds and all. <laughs> and um, that was my first college game. I got asked to play in a tournament um, two Saturdays ago. Really? Yes, sir. Cool. Um, and then that was another. Um, it was at the tournament, just a different game. Okay. Uh oh. Um, <laughs> outdoor girl. That was my first time actually hunting, like where my dad let me shoot something. So okay. <laughs> um, I actually shot both of those in the same sitting. So awesome! Yes, what sir. kind of gun did you shoot? A uh, twenty-two. You killed those with twenty-two? Yes, sir. That's strong. <laughs> you don't hear that much. Um, that's when I first moved here, um, and I haven't really been fishing before. But my dad said we could go and fish off the dock, so that's at my house. Oh, cool. <laughs> Well, you got to catch up on the fishing. <laughs> Ronnie, right, make sure to check where to make sure she's fishing. <laughs> That's right. Okay. Shipwreck? Yes, sir. Um, that is uh, one of the Kaleos, that's what we call them. They come from Texas, and they kind of help um, spread Christian. Okay. Um, and then that's my rec soccer team. We won um, one of the uh, finals games, and that's oh, my cool. dad and my sister. Very good. And then that's another lifeguard that I trained. <laughs> okay, and one more. That's, that's the same horse. But that's I, your friend that's on the left, right? Yes. Okay. Oh, we have another one? And then that we played flag football, and that was all my senior friends. And that was like, flag football. Well, speaking of senior friends and all, you always, always ask my seniors, you know, what are some of your fond memories from the school, from your school days and all? Ryan, how did you go first? Um, well, I mean, I've got to say, since I've been a four-year letterman, it's been wrapped around football. I mean, football, <laughs> for sure. I've made some uh, great friends, mm -hmm. made some great memories, fun bus rides, mm -hmm. sad bus rides sometimes. <laughs> yeah. um, but, you know, that's probably, um, even though it takes up a lot of your time in high school, it's probably one of the best things that I've ever done. Yeah. You know, uh, you're talking about a four-year letterman. That, that's quite an honor. Mm -hmm. That that's, doesn't happen very often mm -hmm. in a ninth grade of school this size. Uh, smaller mm -hmm. schools, yes, but a school this size. Absolutely. That's something to be very proud of. Mm -hmm. And uh, did you want to play in the college ball? Or just um, well, it definitely ran through my mind. And, um, I mean, in, inside, you know, as a little kid saying, oh, you know, I want to go play college. I want to go to NFL. But, I mean, yeah. it's, it's after this injury, it just took – I just looked at it and said, it's such a toll on your body. I'd rather save yeah. it because you only get one body. So <laughs> why, be, why beat up on it and you're, focus on education and careers and all that? Well, you're so. wise beyond your years. <laughs> uh, anyway, what are some of your memories? Um, I would say, like he said, it takes um, sports mostly take up your time in high school. And um, I'm glad that I got to meet the friends that I have today. So mm -hmm. two of my best friends I actually met during soccer. Oh, no kidding. Yes. No kidding. What are, okay, speaking of, let's talk about Moses. What are some, you got some favorite teachers? Anybody in particular just mm -hmm. jumps out at you? Uh, or? Yeah, well, <laughs> I'll say Miss Gwen, and there's a whole bunch of them. I mean, Miss Gwen, Miss McCray, Miss Harless. I mean, that's good. I mean, you can, I can name so many, um, but Miss Gwen in particular, because actually um, we have a connection with her after the hurricane. Uh, we lived over there in Pretty Bayou, and it was a beautiful neighborhood before the hurricane, these big pine trees. And, I mean, Hurricane Michael had them crisscrossed all across the streets, mm -hmm. and which were not fun to clear the roads, let me tell you. Um, but um, she walked from her house all the way to my house to check on us after the hurricane, through yeah. the trees and all that, just to make yeah. sure we were all right. So, I mean, that, that, that was home. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I, I, I hit home there. That was special. What about some of your teachers? Um, I really do like Coach Stanford. He's mm -hmm. pretty, I love his class. It's <laughs> out of way. He's out of the way to coach oh, yeah. and all. Um, yeah. And then um, Mr. Hare, the chemistry teacher, some oh, others too, Mr. Reed. I know. Believe it or not, when I was at Mosley, he was one of my students. Really? And yes. And I, so when he came and started teaching at Mosley, I just loved it. He and his wife have been there longer than anybody as mm -hmm. far as his couple and all. They've just been wonderful, wonderful teachers. I'm glad. You be sure to tell them both of them I said mm -hmm. hello this morning and be watching you on the show. Okay, 
Uh, how long, okay, you're going to Andrew College. Yes, sir. Okay, and is it a four-year program? Have you already got some dual enroll classes going for you? Or? Uh, mine's a two-year college. Two-year? Yes, Okay, sir. and then, then uh, what do you plan on doing? Um, I might get picked up from a bigger school to play soccer and probably fought, or further my medical stuff. Okay, we've got about a minute or two left. I want to always ask this question. What do you think outdoors will play later on, you know, in your life, in your, your, your life and your friend's life and your family's life? How, how do you think outdoors will play in it? Well, personally, I think that, I mean, it's a big role because, you know, growing up, I've been, you know, grow to, I don't want to say old timers make anybody feel bad, but, <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, that to have that personal connection and learn these different things, I mean, it's good to, first off, it's just good to know in general, especially mm -hmm. if you're outdoors related. And, um, I mean, it, you, you can see so much more just like that picture out there on the river mm -hmm. not everybody sees that mm -hmm. you know i mean and, and it's just it's just real good to be able to reflect on that and mm -hmm. grow off that very good so. and what do you think outdoors play in your life and later on um it teaches you a lot things that you wouldn't normally um be taught and mm -hmm. uh, make a lot of great memories too mm -hmm. so you in other words you're going to continue doing outdoor stuff yes sir uh, i don't know if you can maybe keep shooting 22s at a deal, but, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, catching those fish i know will be fun and all oh yeah and, and you're going to be in a good place too uh south georgia has great outdoors too and you know you're going to be in a good place in oh Florida yeah Panhandle. hey i'm right here and uh, we all have our own responsibility to help take care of our environment i know y'all learned that out there mm -hmm. We have a pier fishing trip coming up. I say we, mm -hmm. outdoor ed, and I'm going to be there with a camera, and I'm going to buy lunch to whoever catches the biggest fish. So we're going, <laughs> that's yeah. about a couple of weeks away then, right? Yeah, I'll we're catch it. Gonna stay in touch. <laughs> y'all did great. Thank y'all for coming on. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Now, y'all go to school, and, I, and I'm going to go get some <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> okay. Yes, sir. Love having you. Thank you, folks, for watching Panhandle Outdoors. Do something good today for your fellow man, and God bless. Thanks for watching America's only daily outdoor TV show, Panhandle Outdoors with Winston Chester, featuring hunting, fishing, and other activities and information to help you enjoy the great outdoors. Join us next time for Panhandle Outdoors.